The last time John was here, mm -hmm. he had just visited some of the areas hardest hit by Hurricane Sandy in his native New Jersey, as we just saw. So um, obviously, back then you were very moved and affected by all the destruction you witnessed. And I'm just curious, John, have you been back? Do you know how people are doing? In the first wave, all of our neighbors jumped to attention and wanted to help. With time, it fades away from the headlines. And those who are remaining active um, have to be patient so that government and the insurance companies run their due course. Today, I spoke to Governor Christie in New Jersey about what he's doing to help cut through some of the inefficiencies, the bureaucracies, the, the red tape. Um, because those neighbors, my home, Richie's mom's home, was directly affected. She lives on, on the water in Point Pleasant. Took out the ground floor, didn't it? And both governors, Cuomo and Christie, have done a great job. And it's so wonderful that you're staying on top of it. This yeah. wasn't a one a no, no, one no, no. time deal. No, no, no. You not only did the concert with the, that raised what fifty million dollars. I know it was, let's see, fifty, sixty. You know, and then the telethon on top of that. I think it's a rounded number up to about a hundred. But the things like the Soul Kitchen, which were there before disaster, we were there for years. You know, you're taking care of a of a part of your community that is in dire need all year round. For years, 15% of people in America are hungry. The places like the kitchen need to exist. And neighborhoods need to know that after we're not on the news with a disaster, that they have to still remain in their consciousness involved in those communities. I think the whole idea of, of Soul Kitchen is fantastic. And I think a lot of your fans know what it's all about. But in a nutshell, how would you describe the? It is the a for-purpose restaurant. There are no prices on our menus, but don't think you're going to come there and just be served this great three-course meal and not participate. It's one of two ways to make a difference. Give us some money to pay for the meal of the guy next to you who cannot afford to pay. Or if you choose, come there and volunteer. And, and if you work in our gardens or busting a table, washing a dish, you're effectively making change. President Clinton came there, and, and he actually came there, and he said, this is the model of community. You know, the idea that people sitting across the tables from each other if it weren't for breaking bread, would have never met. You, you've touched so many people. I, I want to mention, there's also someone in our audience, John, Joanne, and you visited her in Sayreville, and uh, I think mm. she just wanted to tell you what that meant to her. I personally can't thank you enough. Oh, thanks, Joe. We lost everything we had. We lived there for 47 years. And one day, here you were. You were a person, a real person who cared. So it just, it touched us to see, like, you and, like, you know, you had on your leather jacket and you were taking pictures and you were talking to the little kids. And to them, it was the best thing ever. John Bon Jovi was here. They don't care that they have no place to live, yeah. no food. John Bon Jovi was here. Well, it, it just it shows was, you, I think, how much John has made a difference in so many people's it, lives, right? It was right? tremendous. And on behalf, of Weber Avenue, we just thank you from the bottom of our hearts. My pleasure.